I'm going to get ready and uh, get everything I need to get this uh, everything off of here to do the tank. We'll do the tank next because I don't want to start it up right now. So. <laughs> Okay guys, first thing we got to do is we got to get this off and this off. Okay, this, I've already took one screw out of this side over here because there's one on each side. There's one here that's got to come out, just a Phillips, and there's one right down here that has to come out, which is a Phillips. Now the other side, this piece is broke on it right there so it's missing so we don't have to worry about that but in order order to get this off okay of course we're gonna have to take our we're gonna have to take our gas cap off and we have to take this luggage rack off okay now there's three bolts that hold it, hold it on their allen wrenches allen heads now I'm gonna have to take this off because I won't be able to get to that that back one see so in order to take this off there are Excuse me. Four screws inside here. <laughs> there are Phillips head screws, but on the bottom it has nuts. Ten millimeter nuts on there. So let's put you up in the stand. And I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. Now since those aren't going actually screwing into plastic, I'm gonna go ahead and use my use my power on it see these are made for all different kinds of bikes so uh, different scooters that's why there's so many holes in here so if you're if yours is like cleaner a lot cleaner than this one you can usually tell though where the old bolt holes were but if not just put a little mark onto and then you'll know which ones they go in again it's self-explanatory uh, you know it's real, real simple guys and now these are in here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this up latch it take this off and there we go that way all my screws and everything are in here so all right. now we can take these three out Move this over here out the way all right. so like I said that whoops these are three Allen heads. Get the slide off here. Uh, like I said, there's one, two, and there's the third one there. So let's get our Allen thing. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Medicinal purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you caught me. You caught the bear. All right, uh, let's see. There we go. We're in here. So let's move this stuff out of the way here. I believe, I think those are metrics, so let's go ahead and, ooh, I've got these marked. I think, I think these ones are my metric ones. Yeah, see, M for metric, or monkey. All right, so it looks to be about, Let's see, what is that? Six millimeter. Alright, six millimeter. And I don't know why I grabbed half inch drive ratchet. So we need to grab. Set this here for now. We need to grab a use this one and we can also what else we can do here 
is we can use the bower on them once once we get them loose. Let's get you in the stand here. you need to be for that but you get the idea right so what we're going to do is first okay get it loose that way we're not stripping anything all right now Let's get our little adapter here. Put it on the bower. Screw it out. You don't have to go super fast. You don't want to lose it. Because it's kind of a special type of bolt. You know. And they are metric. So I'm sure you could probably make anything work, but, but it always sucks if you lose something like that. So you got two shorter ones, two longer ones. And there's our luggage rack. Okay, set that down for now. Alright. Now, okay, I'm gonna take these other two screws out on the side over here. That one up here on top and that one down at the bottom. And let's see if we can get this thing off of here. Okay. There's one. Now what I'm probably gonna have to do guys is uh or what I like to do. Okay, now this is my latch for my seat okay now it hooks in to the side right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead there's a bolt here and a bolt here um, and I believe they got weld nuts on them so cool so I'm going to go ahead and yank them out real quick so um, that way we're not going to have any issues yeah we're not going to have any issues with uh, breaking this cable all right that way it can all come off at once all right there we go now what you can do when you got something like this all right you can put your screws in something like this Put it back in there where where they come out of, and uh, that way you can't lose them. All right. All right. Now, back you out here. Now we got to take gas cap off. All right. Now, what I had to do was I had to loosen the side trim panel here we already took that screw out now now in here this back piece here there's two screws on it see one there one there it goes up in there or let's say yeah like like that okay goes like that you take them two bottom screws out and then you'll have a screw in here now if yours has Yours will probably have both sides, so do this on both sides. This side's broke off on this side here. But do it on this side too, okay? Take that screw out. Now I took this screw out too so it can move there, alright? See right there? It's just a filler. That way you can pull that back, and once you pull that back, there's a hidden screw right there. You have to take that screw out in order to lift, slide this back and lift it up, okay? Now let's lift this up. And get it out of the way be careful I think I just said it before but be careful with these older bikes because the plastic is brittle especially hot climate weather so lift that up and there's why I wanted to take 
that piece off so it could come off in one piece. Okay. Also, yes, the center piece does come off. It's got screws on the other, on the underside of it, right? There's four screws and four screws right there. And these two side pieces, you can buy these separate if, if you have one that's broke. You can buy them separate or you can buy a whole kit, okay? So we'll set this over here out of the way. Got a freaking load of cobwebs here. Okay, so it's looking like we got a bolt there, a bolt here, well nut, there's a bolt, there's a nut. Looks like this nut's going to have to come off. There's a nut there, a nut there that holds the taillight assembly in. A nut there, oh, I just showed you that. We got a nut here, a bolt here, it's the same on both sides. Now, looks like because you know this has to come off the top of here in order to get this tank out. So, what I'm going to do is they're 10 millimeter, is I'm going to take them out. I'm going to go ahead and unhook the lines, and uh, I'm going to take these screws out, and these nuts and bolts out. Let's get this up out of here. Make sure you unplug. This is your fuel gauge here, your fuel gauge wire. Okay, follow it down comes down and around right to there so make sure you unplug that okay I showed you in the last one how to unplug the headlight hard to do one handed there we go now the fuel gauge is unhooked okay and that should be the only thing you have to unhook on this other than the fuel lines that is so all right, so let's get these off of here and get the lines off, and I'm gonna pull this tank up out of here for you guys. I want to make sure you slightly, just slightly pull back on that, and then this will slide up and out just like that. Now they slide up out pretty easy because the two side ones have got these slots that gives it that way it can slide up and out. However. You need to go with okay so there's that now now the line there's two lines on this one yours may vary but the two lines the, the line with the filter on it is the line coming from your pump and one without the filter the little one it's the pulse line that makes your pump pump the fuel we also got to take this off. Now we should be able to finesse this up out of here. And there's the tank. Okay. I don't know. Let's see if we can see down in here. Let me grab a flashlight. I don't remember this thing being that dirty when I first got it, but it may have been. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. Yeah, see it's kind of brown back in there. So it's got, and another thing you can do is shake it around. Okay, you hear that? There's stuff in here. Let's see what's in here. See, there, there's rust coming out. Where you at? Rust coming out of it. See all that? That's going down in my new carburetor. So, we're going to clean this out. So what I'm going to do first of all, is I'm going to take the fuel gauge out. All that consists of is prying this up, enough to get that wire out of there, and then just tapping this. Now they make a tool you can turn this with and this just turns like a quarter turn until these line up here okay and, that, and that'll come right out of there so um, you might be able to get like a wrench on here or a big pair of needle nose pliers and turn it that way too but I'm going to take that out 
this is essentially the fuel pump right here this this gets uh, pulse it pulses with vacuum like that from the engine which there's a diaphragm in here that goes back and forth really fast and that's what pumps the fuel out of here so I'm going to be taking that off too all that does is you loosen this here and that'll come out so I'm going to get that done and we'll look at the inside of the tank when we can get a better view down through there gauge is split so I'm gonna have to be very careful with this I think I said fuel gauge but this is actually the float for the fuel gauge so um, I may try to repair that this is what that does if you, I explain this to you when I did the, the fuel pump on the truck um, what that does is that's on empty and as the as you fuel it up that floats up and that'll read full empty halfway whatever so that's how that works so be careful with that again don't try not to try not to bend this wire part because it could give you a false reading either way but the, the fuel gauge does work. Let's see if we can see down in here. Flashlight. Yes, there. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but there is some crud down in this tank not too bad there but if you look back towards that back I don't know if you can see it but trust me back in there in this area here which is the lowest part which is where the water water is heavier than gas which water would lay in that corner and this thing sat for a couple years before I got it so I should have checked it I assumed it was a plastic tank and I was wrong so there you go so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and then we'll talk about how how we're going to clean this okay there's This next day, got these beads here. I blew the tank out real good. And I'm gonna take these beads. I like to use, they have a, a polishing rocks, but that's not what these are. These are just those little rocks you buy and put in a fountain or a fish bowl or whatever. I'm gonna dump these. Just got a few of them. 
them in there like that. Okay. Now, I cannot seem to find my tape. I'm going to put this in here. One hole. I'm going to put this into the other hole. Like that. Don't have to worry about that one because nothing's going to come out of it. this up this up real good and I'm gonna find something a string or something to wrap around here Quick fluff. Let's get these beads out of here. Before you get this all mounted in there, I forgot to show you, there's a little rubber o-ring up inside here, okay? Make sure that's still okay. It seemed to be pretty pliable, but a little iffy, so make sure you put some gas in here and uh, before you get it all mounted in, because you see what kind of a pain it is to get out. And uh, make sure there's, it's not leaking. If it's leaking, it'll be leaking right around there. You'll see it. Probably right in that area. So I'm going to check for leaks. I don't have this bolted clear in yet, but it is, it's stuck on them. I got it sticking on these two little um, studs sticking up here so that way it doesn't bounce out or anything. I'm checking for leaks. I see no leaks. Uh, okay. Looks good. I don't know how good. I got this running off of my um, boat battery down here. See the jumpers. And let's see what happens. This thing hasn't been running. Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe a year, well, maybe less than a year, at least nine months that I know of, so let's see what's going to happen here. Is it a fail, or? Alright. Alright, I got lights. Fuel gauge is working, it's on empty. I only put just a little bit in, just in case, but just enough to start it. Let's see what happens. She 
kawan-kawan Seems like it still may be starving for fuel a little bit Of course, I didn't warm it up But uh, and this is not also I didn't fill it up because I'm not running high octane in it They want you to run What is it? 90 octane? Uh, these things do run hot. It's air cooled, so uh, they do take a beating. But I also have down here uh, let me show you that. I think you can see that. Yeah, down there I need to hook up. That's for my air cleaner, my breather box. Okay, this this is supposed to hook on there, but as you can see, it kind of got flattened out. It popped itself off, and that's really hard to brittle. So I'm going to have to soak that in some lukewarm water, and I'll get it put on there, and that's probably going to help it. But I still think I may have a little bit of dirt in that carburetor, though I see nothing leaking out of it now. So I may have to pull the bowl, pull the carburetor, and pull the bowl off the carburetor, and uh, check the situation there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this thing back together. And uh, you know, well, I'm going to leave it to where I can get to the to the uh, to the carburetor, and you know, see how it runs from there. If not, then I'll go ahead and pull the carburetor, and I'll show you how I clean that. But I think it's going to be all right after it warms up. After it runs a while, it may knock some of that whatever's in that carburetor loose if there is anything in there. Um, I did pull the uh, I don't know. If, well, you probably can't see this in here, but uh, there's a little bit of fuel down inside this cup. I did pull the line off while it was running. Held the line into this bucket and it was coming out clean. The fuel was coming out clean, so I'm good there. Because like I said, this has a fuel pump on it, so you can do that. And it was pumping fuel. It was pumping a good stream, so I think fuel pump's all right. So I may just need to do some tweaking with it, but I'm going to get this put back together. So.
for a ride. Uh, it runs. Uh, I gotta put a the brake line is on there. I don't know what I was thinking that front brake line. I just gotta get the uh, the banjo bolt from down at the bottom. So once I get that, then I can uh, put fluid in, bleed it out. Um, other than that, it's pretty ready to go. Other than cleaned up, uh, I need a headlight bulb. It's got a. It's only got low beam. Yeah, it's only got low beam. But that's okay turn signals work uh horn works everything works so anyway guys uh that'll do it for this one <clears throat> um don't forget to check out my patreon page swing pass say hello uh and uh remember shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now guys thanks for watching thanks for all your support take care bye bye now